This Maple Leafs fan is a clown. This happened in tonight's Maple Leafs Lightning game in what was a very different result from the first one. This one was a blowout in the Maple Leafs' favor, and as is often the case in a game like this, tempers began to flare near the end. So at this point in the game, the Leafs held a commanding 6-1 lead, and so, looking to set a tone for Game 3, we get a shot of Janot yapping at Shen prior to a face-off. Now, nothing got going immediately as Shen not interested at first, but it didn't take too long before Shen of obliged and these two Saskatchewan boys went at it. You know YouTube doesn't allow me to show the fight but I will leave you guys a link down below in the description for those that want to check it out as this was a good one. But the officials break it up and nothing too out of the norm when suddenly there's commotion and the camera cuts to Jano and this fan in yellow going at it. Now the commentators mentioned that right before cutting to this shot he had been going over the glass I guess reaching at him which this tweet seems to verify and that is just ridiculous. You are not on the team dude chill out pumping his chest like he's proving something i don't know and who wears a yellow sweater to a maple leafs playoff game <laughs> i don't know forgive me i just this guy annoyed me and as you can see security's trying to calm him down and then <laughs> i love this next shot cooper watching on just trying to figure out what exactly he's looking at now the other thing to note is check out where the linesman is he's right in the box with you know which they briefly mentioned in the broadcast as well you've got all these guys seeing what's going on and so kyle murchison makes his priority getting Jano in the box even if it means locking himself in there with him to ensure things don't escalate not a bad move what was also mentioned was that time in philly when this fan got into it with ty domi he fell into the box and yeah he got what he had coming and you know see how this went down don't you almost kind of wish it had gone similarly here nah i'm kidding for the fans sake that would have been ugly but yeah these guys were immediately escorted out as they should be and i mean it looks like they had a good time so they were probably all right with it they got their money's worth as again at this point the Leafs were way ahead and in a good spot so speaking of which let's see how they got there now coming into this game after how the last one went things were pretty loud in Toronto but getting on the power play right out of the gate the Leafs capitalized as Marner ripped one home less than a minute into the game that was a good sign then with seven to go in the period Riley finds Tavares and he scores to make it a two goal lead and just over two minutes later on a delayed penalty adding to that was Nylander with his second in two games as it was all Leafs early and they take a three to nothing lead over to the second where nearing the midway point of the game Stamkos would find Cole and showing some patience he beat Samson enough to give the Lightning some life and get their first goal of the game that didn't last long the Leafs scoring in bunches and scoring in threes would answer right back with Tavares finding the rebound for his second of the night not three minutes later and the Leafs get to the puck again as Aston Reese is there to put it home and finally with two to go in the second Brody nice play along the the boards banks it back to Marner who rips another one scoring his second of the night as the Leafs get three in the first and another three in the second that would get us over to the third and also back to this guy but besides that the teams would trade goals in the third with the first coming from Tampa Maroon down to Belmar over to Perry and he scores to make it six to two some extracurricular activity would ensue shortly after that would put Toronto on a five on three in which the captain Tavares he sees space goes into the net and somehow gets through as Vasilevsky knocking it in himself gives Tavares his third of the game for the Hattie and again what was a very different outcome compared to game one but yeah that was it for this one as Toronto splits home games and this series is now tied at one heading into Tampa as always thank you guys so much for watching I appreciate it very much and I will see you in the next one looks like a different guy this time Murchison in there to make sure everything